what are we talking about when we talk about heavy structure? Heavy structure. And why is that important to us? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. It may be a rainy day in Georgia, but it is a windy. I'm talking about windy day in Oklahoma. 20 to 40 mile an hour wind. Beautiful, nice out here. Absolutely fantastic. But windy, windy, windy. Go fish a river today. Go fish someplace where you can get in out of the wind. On May the 8th, we're looking at Daniel 10, 12, the book of Daniel. Daniel's, that's the dude they put in the lion's den. Turn it into a petting zoo. Exactly what he did. Daniel 10, 12. Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. That is the archangel talking to Daniel. That's an angel talking to Daniel. Powerful angel. One time an angel in the Bible killed 80,000 men. That's how powerful, that's how strong angels are. And he told Daniel, do not fear, for from the first day you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God. Daniel made God his personal God. Your words were heard. God started listening to his prayers from the very moment that he humbled himself. We're often asked, what's the first thing you do or look for on a strange lake? Or even, where do you start on a lake that you've never fished before? Where do you go? I mean, you showed up at a lake you've never fished before. It's one thing that we did literally hundreds and hundreds of times in our tournament career. One really easy place to start is to turn over a few rocks around the boat launch ramp, check the color of the crawfish. Turn a few rocks over, pretty soon you'll turn one over and there'll be a crawfish there. Reach down, pick him up, look, see what color he is. Is he real light color, kind of pale, washed out color? Is he brown? Does he have a little red, a little green in him, a little orange in him? Another is to simply drive around the boat ramp while your partner is parking the truck. Just drive around out there in front of the boat ramp, idle around, be looking at your Garmin fish finder, and see how deep the shad or the bait fish are in that particular lake you're fishing. Just kind of idle around out there watching your Garmin locator. Now, you know what color your lure you should be using, and you know how deep you need to fish. You solved a big part of the problem right there, and you know nothing about the lake. But what's the first thing we do when we approach God? What is the first thing that we need to do when we approach God and we're talking to Him, we're raising petitions in front of God that we want Him to answer? When we pray to God, we want Him to answer those prayers. Today's verse tells us the first thing to do to have Almighty God pay close attention to us is humble ourselves before God. Today, let's be humble before God. Let's set our hearts completely on Him. Put Him first in our life. Honor him in everything that we do today. Can I tell you? Blessings. Blessings will follow. Here's our tip for today. Heavy deep water structure usually hold bluegill, crappie, and really, really big bass. What are we talking about when we're talking about heavy structure? We're talking about big logs, brush piles, maybe a sunken bridge. We're talking about big type stuff down there. Maybe even a car, maybe even a car. You know, with the Garmin uh, uh, forward finding uh, live scopes, we're seeing cars in the water. There's more cars being found nowadays in lakes than ever before because the guys are going there looking at their locator and all of a sudden there's a car there. That's heavy structure. That type structure holds all kinds of fish and really, really big bass. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember,